When will NASA send astronauts Five, to Mars? Four, three, two, one. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. The first test flight of the Orion crew capsule is complete. The hardware and systems are ready for mass production. The components, the engineering, the manufacturing are all underway, with NASA looking back to what worked in the past and utilizing it for the future. Fire. The solid rocket booster technology straight from the space shuttle has been extended and tested. NASA's new Space Launch System, or SLS, is coming closer to fruition, reusing the Space Shuttle's main engines as the new system's workhorses, saving billions of dollars and years in research and development. are teaming up with NASA to provide the service model for Orion, allowing for long-duration, deep space flights. Autonomous Martian landing systems are well advanced and being tested. Software and hardware are fully integrated for both manned and unmanned Martian landings. And when they get there, Desert RAT stands for Desert Research and Technology Studies. This is a group of engineers and scientists. We're looking to test out new concepts, procedures, uh, equipment, like rover concepts, to see how they work in the field environment. So the team tests these technologies to make sure that in future human spaceflight missions, we'll be able to do science as best as we can. That's something that NASA's never done, two human, human rovers at the same time. So we're really trying to develop how do you use these assets at the same time and interesting things that you might not think about are your, your communications. So you potentially have four astronauts talking all at the same time to a mission control or science okay. communication background. It's just like running a real mission, say, like you can think about the Apollo mission to the moon. You had the astronauts to the moon and you had the people mission control. But there was a science background you didn't hear about, but the astronauts were getting uh, information from them. Arizona has a, a very good climate for these types of analog studies. Uh, you have pretty much open plains and you have a lot of geological features that are analogous to places on the moon and, and on Mars. Long-term space voyages are being replicated on the ground and in orbit with the ISS. Surface habitats, power systems, food and oxygen supply manufacturing are also on the drawing board. The human flight component would like to see an experiment where resources on the surface of Mars, from the rocks or the atmosphere, could be used to generate fuel or other parts that would enable future exploration in cutting the tie, so to speak, to Earth. So you wouldn't necessarily have to bring everything with you. You can actually manufacture it on the planet. And that's a really exciting additional component that we've been exploring or, and analyzing in this, in this work. NASA isn't the only one with its eye on this prize. ESA and now the Indian Space Research Organization have a spacecraft orbiting Mars, and they did it on their first attempt. Private enterprise is hard at work as well. Mars 500, Mars One, the Mars Society, Mars Foundation, and the Mars Initiative, to name a few. And they have volunteers lining up already for a one-way trip to Mars. It is inevitable that we will set foot on Mars in the very near future. We will stay and learn her secrets. Perhaps in the future we will be able to alter the atmospheric density through terraforming and return Mars to the world that it once was, awash with oceans and rivers, clouds and rain. Maybe some of us could call it home.